Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Ultimate Iron Man. And last video, we entered the Fremnic provinces and did a whole lot of the Fremnic quests, and we are currently sitting at 208 quest points. I mentioned last video that I want to get 42 Slayer because that's a requirement for a few quests. So today, for the first time on the account, we are going to be training Slayer. And we wrapped up the last video by doing animal magnetism for the Avas attractor because we gotta train range as well for a couple quests. So we're gonna start off by training up to 40 range and then move over to probably training attack until 60. It's also really annoying having the attractor pick up these random objects. So I'm going to commune with it and have it stop gathering junk items. And my weapon of choice for training range is going to be the bone crossbow. And to get the bone crossbow, we have to go underground to the uh, lumberage mine place, whatever. And for that, we need a light source. Here's the ultimate Iron Man method of getting a light source. Also, I guess any type of account could do this if you need a light source for anything. All right, the bone crossbow itself costs 2k GP, and then 100 bone bolts costs us 3.5 GP each. Is what it looks like. Yeah, okay, we'll just buy a bunch of these. Yeah, 2k should be more than enough. And whatever I've left over, I can drop them because I'm balling. <laughs> That's a really weird flex. Like, it's not an amount of money that you want to flex. And then as for range armor, well, we can't even equip green dehyde. We need uh, 40 range for that. But we'll come over here to Horvik in Varak, and he sells stud body and stud chaps. All right, let's put this on. <laughs> Looking like a freaking beast, dude. This is such like a standard Iron Man outfit. The more I look at this, the more like stereotypical Iron Man this gets. The freaking ghost peak amulet. <laughs> the tome of fire. The miscellaneous graceful pieces. <laughs> Our current Slayer task is lesser demons. I think it was 73 of them. Just uh, coming here to buy an enchanted gem. Yeah, so let's head over to the Chasm of Fire now and start training Slayer for the first time on the Ultimate Iron Man. Yeah, this spot's gonna be perfect. We can just come over here and just AFK and chill for a while. And we can use the special attack which lowers defense. These skills are taking kind of a while, but that's okay. I'm in no rush. Uh, we still need about 40k Slayer XP to get to level 42, so however long that takes. 40 range. We got that way quicker than I thought we would. Uh, we only have 27 Slayer, so I think I'll at least range the rest of this task because I don't feel like meleeing and flicking. Uh, but 40 range unlocks green dehyde, we can wear ranger boots, other ranger armor, it's required for a couple quests, uh, diary. See, when I get in sold heads, what am I supposed to do with them? Do I have the level to uh, reanimate them? 42 range, we can now wear void. I think we'll wait till 100 combat to get void because I don't think there's much reason to get it, especially if we're not training Slayer for a while. It has come to my attention from the Twitch chat, by the way. That was inaccurate this whole time. Twitch.tv slash wild underscore Mikey, by the way. All right, little check-in for level 30 Slayer. We unlocked Pyre Fiends, and as a requirement for the like Menace. Oh, you're too kind. You're too kind. All right, our first ever Slayer task is done. We don't start getting Slayer points until the fifth task, I believe. Um, but we have these four insult heads, so I'm going to figure out all the runes we need to use these and get some prayer XP. And we also got this rune med helm, which I'll save on me for now. Um, for tasks that we have to melee. This fairy ring, I didn't unlock it a while ago like I should have, but if we pay 80k, we can unlock the fairy ring to get right here now for the future. So, there we go. It is now unlocked and we can use that code now. <laughs> New transportation method unlocked. With 60% Arceus favor, we can use the Arceus spellbook. Um, later on, when I'm grinding out Slayer, I'll probably stay on this spellbook because you can reanimate while you're training Slayer. Uh, but for now, we are going to reanimate these four insult heads that we have here, and I think we might get one level out of this. 49 prayer. Uh, we're going to grab our second Slayer task ever now. I think we have to go to Mazchina or whatever to get a diary task done, so we'll go to him for this next task. And before we go, we will switch our spell look back. All right, let's see. Our second ever Slayer task is Hobgoblins. Maybe we'll get the champion scroll. It's also, yeah, the easy task for Mauritania. All right, how do we say his name? It doesn't even say their names on here. It's just like the Canifist Master. <laughs> oh, look, there's a attack level. Looking like an absolute unit here. Maz... Chna... Maz... 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 Chna. Give me anything but Earth Warriors. Thank you. I'll just stick with him until we get our uh, four tasks where we can start getting points. These levels are going by a bit slower than I thought they would. Maybe it's because we're using... Uh, Maz. But yeah, 10 more levels left to go. Over. Oh my god, the first nature talisman on the account. It's a very special moment for me. Oh, that's also the first Slayer task that we got points from. I guess not many from Vonica, but it's the best Slayer Master we can use right now. Oh gosh, crocodiles. I'm going to drop the nature tally because we don't need it for anything. And eventually when I do decide to train runecrafting, if I ever want to make nature runes, I can just uh, catch a nature impling or something for the tiara. 57 attack, getting closer and closer to being able to wield dragon weaponry. 
I'm hoping we get 60 by the time we get 42 Slayer. I think it's going to happen. I have a good feeling about it. Level 35 Slayer, we can now wear Slayer Helmets, which we're not going to have for a while. And that's the halfway point to level 42, since every 7 levels, you know, it's double XP. 58 Attack, and this is also the last kill of this task. Very weird timing. A lot of people might not know this, but there's actually baby green dragons up here. So if you're like a hardcore something, you can kill baby green dragons in the Brimhaven dungeon. And uh, I just want to point out we got a corrupted task done, or a couple tasks done here. Okay, cool. And there's also a safe spot right over here. And we can just range and they won't hit us. So I guess we'll get a few more range levels in too. All right, this is a very important milestone, not only for 51 hit points, but it's 1400 total level now. We were 1400 total for like... 10 seconds we got a uh, 45 range directly after that like one hit later okay this is our first 10 point task streak uh unfortunately i can't use neve yet because i'm only combat 69.975 and we need combat 70 but uh we got 40 points until now oh we got hit points level so now we're 70 combat mm, interesting a mossy key from this moss giant task a 40 slayer i think we'll finish this task and then we'll try using up the mossy key because right now as you can see my inventory is a mess 59 attack one more level to go until dragon and one more Slayer level to go as well. Hey, look at that, knocking out these tasks without even trying. One of the Mauritania hard tasks is to harvest some mushrooms, uh, and for that we need 53 farming, which we only have 51. But we did get a mushroom spore from that moss giant task, so I do want to use it. And in order to use that, what I'm going to do is search the shelves in my house and grab out a chef's hat. And with the chef's hat on, we can enter the cooking guild, and right in here, if we trade this guy, he sells pies. And one of those pies that he stocks is a garden pie. And when we take a bite of the pie, our farming is temporarily boosted by plus three. So now we can plant the mushroom spore. And now I'm going to ultra compost it too, and hopefully it doesn't die. It is time to start preparing for the first boss fight on the account. And uh, first upgrade I'm going to do, which I should have done before, because at this point we're almost 50 range. Uh, we're going to buy some green dragon hide from this dude over here. The chaps are 3.9k, and then Oziak sells the body for 10k. That looks pretty cool, making some very nice upgrades. And we've got our anti-poison right here from Castle Wars. And for food, we will be using Karambwans. Right, so this boss is instanced, which means if I die, I lose everything. Now, I could suicide and leave all my stuff like out on the ground somewhere for an hour and then come back and grab it all, but I'm not a very smart Ultimate Iron Man, so hopefully we can go in here and not die. Uh, I did this boss once on day of release, and I haven't done it again, and that's also with max stats too, so I'm not sure how it's going to be with the stats that we have right now on this account. Uh, I think it's decent though, I, I heard um, base 50s is what's recommended, so I think we're looking pretty good in that department. And then here's the gear. Alright, we got this, we got this. Of course, they have to remind me that I'm going to lose everything. Yes, let's go. Yay, we did it. Our first drop from the first bot. <gasps> no way. Oh my god. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this? We weren't supposed to actually get something. It was just supposed to be a fun boss fight. <laughs> well then, I just looked it up. This is a 1 out of 118 drop. <laughs> So what you can do with this essence is once you have 62 crafting, which we don't have yet, you can make it into the Bryophyte of the Staff. And what you do with the Staff is you put nature runes in it, but once you put those nature runes in, you can't take them back out. You can uncharge it, but it loses all the nature runes. But when you have the Staff equipped and you use any spell that requires a nature rune, there's a 1 out of 15 chance that you don't consume a nature rune. So I guess it's pretty niche. The main use I can see myself using it for is for alking. And because we have the Tome of Fire, we can have the Staff equipped and the Tome equipped and the Tome will give us unlimited fire runes. And on average, that'll save us about 14 GP per cast overall, uh, due to the cost of nature runes. Yeah, so unfortunately, we won't be using this for a while, so it is going to be staying in the looting bag for now. Uh, by the way, here's what the looting bag is currently looking like, if you want to pause and take a look at everything, but yeah, it's what we got. These are Toad Flex Seeds. Okay, let's see if the casket that we got from that beginner clue is lucky as well. Now that we're 70 combat, we could use Chaelder, so let's grab our first task. I like that a lot, actually. Nice and AFK. I guess we're getting more uh, range XP in. Maybe we won't hit 60 attack. I think we'll actually get 4. Yeah, we'll definitely get 42 before the end of the task. Oh, speaking of tasks, that was a 1B medium task. Level 50 range is a pretty big level. That is blue dragon hide. That is broad bolt once we get 55 slayer. That is magic short bows and long bows. And that is the Ava's accumulator, which I'm not going to get right now because once we get 42 slayer, which I think is like 40 kills away or something, maybe 50 kills away, uh, we're not going to be doing slayer after that. So I don't see a point to going out of my way to get that. Just 
to drop it a few minutes later. Uh, but yeah, unless something cool happens, I guess I'll see you back again with 42 Slayer, and we'll be done with this little mini Slayer grind. And it's over halfway tonight. Hey, there's an easy little hit points level there. 51 range. These total levels have gone up so much this video so far. And there it is, 42 Slayer. We are done training Slayer for a long time. Uh, because there are no other quests that require a higher Slayer level than 42, besides from Monkey Mask 2, but that quest is a very long ways away. This was like a fun little taste of Slayer. I'm really looking forward to getting into it, but you know, it's gonna be a long ways away. We have to get past a bunch of questing, get through a bunch of skilling, but it's something to look forward to, and I am not in a rush. We have one in Soul Demon Head here, but we still need level 50 prayer for the Great Brain Robbery quest. So uh, I guess we'll just see what happens when the quest comes up. Now that we're done with range and training Slayer and stuff, instead of just dropping our green dragon hide like any other schmuck would do, we can put it in a stash unit here. We just build it, and we put our green top and bottom along with the steel square shield in here. Now it's safe for the future. All right, back to the questing grind. We are going to start off with Zogar Flesh Eaters because this quest is the requirement for like a whole long chain of other quests that we're going to be doing. Man, another DM. All right, let's see what we're missing out on here. We could have gotten Mystic Row Bottom. Okay. We can now make Relicence Bomb, which uh, cures disease. Very, very niche item. It's not too useful in many situations. And we could also now make Ogre Compos as well as Brutal Arrows. Okay, and that is the end of Zogar Flesh Eaters. I think we got an herb lore level. And uh, next quest in the series is going to be Rum Deal, but I think because we have the bow on us right now and these brutal arrows, I think we'll just go ahead and do the Western Easy Diary because we have to catch Chompies, and it's kind of annoying to get the bow and the arrows back, so we'll just do that right now. We got these five bones from the quest too, so let's see if we get a prayer level from it. Oh, that's so close. This guy here has a shop where he sells random like ogre style items. And uh, he only opens the shop once you use a Relicim's Balm on him. So once we use that, we should be able to trade him now. And here's uh, the items that he has. Unfortunately, there is no stock of the Brutal Arrows. So every time we want Brutal Arrows, we have to make them ourselves. Uh, same thing with the bow too. And because of that, I think instead of just getting the 30 that we need for the Easy Diary, I think we'll go all the way up to 125 kills. Uh, but when you complete the Easy Diary, you get a 25% chance of getting double Chompy spawn. But because it'd be so annoying to get like the arrows and the bow back, I think I'll just go for all 125 all at once. And then we'll complete the Easy Diary. And then, you know, later on, eventually we'll do the Medium Diary. So we'll get the 125 out of the way now, and we're currently at 13. I think it'll take like an hour or something. Here's a very interesting spot to begin a range level from uh, Chompy Hunting. All right, sweet. So that took about an hour or so, like I said. And uh, yeah, there we go. Got all the kills we need for the Medium Diary, even though we're just doing the easy one. But we'll uh, get the Medium task done, too. All right, so we're just going to spam press spacebar through this dialogue and collect all the hats and then drop them afterwards. Uh, yeah, there's the easy and the medium task, both done. I'll put the blue one on, just to see how it looks. Yo, this would actually go so well for a Mudkip cosplay outfit costume. Ah, we're back in my favorite place in the game, at Pest Control. I miss this place very much, I'm very happy to be back here. Uh, but there's a task where I have to go through the easy lander and the medium lander, eventually the veteran lander as well. Um, but we're just going to do these lower two because you need 70 combat for this one and 40 combat for that one. So we'll just uh, knock those two out of the way. Wow, I missed the public chat here. All right, there we go. We got those tasks complete now. And the only time we'll ever have to come back here is to get void. And then we'll never have to come back here ever again after that. Uh, but here's all the tasks that we have left to do for the easy diaries. So I guess I'll uh, see you back once we get this done. All right, there we go. We got the goal. And that is the last task for the Western Easy Diary. Let's go over to the Gnome Child and get the banner and reward and stuff. Yeah, we really don't get much from this. Like, there's really nothing at all. But the XP lamp is cool. Of course, it's going to go into Herb Lore. And, uh, yeah, we got the banner. There's a Chompy Bird on there. But it doesn't do anything yet, though. Uh, you can't use the teleport until you have at least the Hard Diary done. So we're just going to drop it. And uh, I think it's that time again to go back to fishing. Because what kind of an Ultimate Iron Man Progress video would this be if we didn't spend some time fishing? On the way to buy some feathers, I'm going to Elk the Addy Gloves. We're going to Elk the Rune Med Helm. We're going to destroy the tractor that we had because we were done with combat for a while. Yeah, I forgot that inventory space for the fish, you know? But man, look at that diary tab. It's coming along. Just missing the easy Mauritania and the wilderness. We'll get around to it eventually, but I love seeing all the green in there. Woot! 89 fish in. Dude, the total level, no way! We have completed the trifecta of levels for barbarian fishing. We could finally end the video in peace now.
I still can't believe that happened, dude. I hope this account stays lucky like that for the future as well, but, you know, RNG does tend to balance out in the end. You get lucky in some places, unlucky in other places. That's just how the game goes. But that's where we're going to wrap up for today, so thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you again next time. I have the hiccups. Okay, bye.